What's up? I'm Puggle. So today I want to show you guys how to properly set up and use Terraria Proximity. It's a really simple process, but at the end of the day, it is very fun to play with. Okay, so the first step is to open Tmod. This is a very important step because we do need a mod for this to actually work. Okay, so after you've opened Tmod, what you want to do is go to Workshop, Download Mods, and then search up Updated Mumblelink. This is the mod. Oh, Updated T Mumblelink. Sorry. But I already have it downloaded, so I won't be showing you how to download it. It should just be a button like that. But after you do that, uh, close Terraria for now. We will be back later. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to open your preferred browser type and look up Mumble. Uh, I'll, I'll put the link down in the description of um, the download. So from here, what you want to do is you want to download the version that your PC supports. So for me, I'm x64. You might be x86 or even Mac. So download whichever one your PC supports. Okay, now that you have the installer, what you want to do is just do the setup. I agree to all the crap. Install. Okay, so the thing's done. What you want to do from here is pretty simple. You want to open Mumble and close all this crap, and you'll you'll be left with this. So what you want to do is you want to go to configure settings and then go to where it says plugins right here. Uh, what you want to look for is link. Make sure link is enabled. For me, it was already enabled. Uh, hit apply. Also, while you're here, you want to go up and make sure that link game and transmit position is already clicked. It should be clicked, but if not, uh, enable it. And then hit apply. Now what you want to do is you want to restart Mumble. Okay, so once Mumble is back up, you need to go to configure, uh, go to settings, go to audio output, and then make sure Positional audio is enabled. Make sure that box is checked. Also, while you are here, you need to make sure that maximum distance is set to a decent value. I chose 65. Uh, you could choose higher, lower. I recommend 65 if you want to have a decent experience with proximity chat. You also need to set minimum volume straight to zero and then you need to hit apply. So after that, you should be done with all the settings for Mumble. Next, you need to make a server and allow your friends to join. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to Chrome yet again and go to this website, which I will link in the description called Guildbit. This is a temporary server that you and your friends can use that will go away after four hours. Well, you can set it to one hour, to up to four. I recommend four if you're going to do a long session. But uh, you can generate a password and uh, hit deploy server. So here is the setup for the server. I will walk you through how to add the server and make sure everything is fine. So what you want to do is you want to copy this and then go to mumble server connect, and then you want to hit add new. So for address, you want to put what we just copied, put it right there. Okay. And then delete that port and then replace it with this port that. And then after that, uh, you should be good. And then hit connect. Boom. It, and then it would bring up the screen. Once you're presented with the screen, you hit uh, yes. And then what you want to do is take the password, copy it, and paste it there. Hit OK. And then you should be seen in Guildbit now. So once you're done with Mumble, you need to reopen Tmod and then go to Workshop, uh, Manage Mods. Make sure Tmumble Link is enabled. And then exit out of there and then you want to hit multiplayer the mod only works in multiplayer so it makes sense that it only works in multiplayer because it's proximity and you're not going to be doing proximity by yourself because that doesn't make any sense 
but uh, you want to hit host and play if you're the host. Um, you want to go on your character and then make the server. Okay, so once you're in your world, uh, you need to go right back to Mumble and check. Wait, shoot. <laughs> you need to check if it says Terraria linked. This is very important because if it says Terraria linked, you did it right. Once all this is done, you are all set. To show you proximity chat in action, I will be showing you a few clips of uh, my friends and I when we first tried it out. Have a look. Yo. Yo. Wait. Wait. Do you hear me now? Oh my god, that's fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, it's really weird. It's crazy. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I fucking fell and I probably went. Ah. <laughs> Ethan. Sucks to suck. That's a skill issue right there. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, what is this? Oh my god. Ah! Ah! So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Let me know if this helped. Uh, if you really enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like or subscribe. I'm not forcing you. But... Yeah, thank you guys for watching. See ya.